I'm thrilled to announce our new Llama course, Building with Llama 4, built in partnership with Meta and taught by Amin Sangani, who is Director of Pioneer Engineering for Meta's AI team. I'm very glad to be back here with you and to teach this course. Llama 4 has introduced a mixture of experts or MOE architecture to the family of models, making them much more efficient to serve. There are three new models, two of which we'll cover in this course. First is a 400 billion parameter model called Maverick with 120 experts and 17 billion active parameters. And second is Skelt, a 109 billion parameter model with 16 experts and 17 billion active parameters. The Llama 4 family also introduces new multimodal capabilities, including reasoning across multiple images and image grounding, meaning given the picture, identifying elements as well as their positions within that image. It also supports extended context windows, up to a million tokens for Maverick and 10 million, a massive 10 million tokens for Skelt, which is enough to fit even very large GitHub repos for analysis. The Llama models are open and accessible. You can download them, fine tune them, extend them for free. This has made it easier than ever for developers and researchers to experiment and customize and deploy these models across a huge range of use cases. That's right. At Meta, we have been excited to see how developers around the world are building with Llama models. With Llama 4, we have focused on making the models more capable in both text and image applications. This course is a great opportunity to get hands-on experience with everything that's new in Llama 4. This is our third course on Llama models, and the family of models gets bigger and more capable with each new release. With Llama 4, Meta isn't just releasing a model, but is also making it directly available via API access. We have recently made Llama models available via Llama API, so developers can have the option of directly building with Llama using our API. After a quick overview of Llama 4 models in Lesson 1, you will start building with Llama API in Lesson 2. Image reasoning and grounding is one of my favorite capabilities of Llama 4, which we will cover. You will use Llama 4 to find specific items and their bounding boxes in an image. You will go from screenshot of a user interface to coding it, and we will also see how you can use Llama 4 as part of your computer use and AI browser agents. As Andrew mentioned, we have increased the context size of our models. So we will have a lesson specific to this where you will get to analyze large code bases and GitHub repo pull requests. We also have lessons on two of our newest tools we recently open source. One is prompt optimization, and the second is synthetic data generation. You will learn how to use both of these tools in the last two lessons of the course. The Open Llama 4 family of models is an important component of any Gen.AI developer's toolkit. If you need an open model, this is a top option to consider. So I hope you enjoy the course.